this is Jill. So we're going to be talking through some tests of balance because when you're on your legs, when you're upright, when you're walking and you're moving, which is basically what you spent the best part of, uh, I don't know, the first 14 months of your life learning how to do. When you're upright, you need to have a balance. And in order to be able to walk one foot in front of the other, you need to be able to do some quite fundamental things. So if you can manage to stand up from the chair without using your hands, in other words, if you can manage to get up like this, and you feel quite safe, and you feel quite calm and confident when you do it, you don't hold your breath and struggle, um, you don't sort of ooh, have to roll forwards and backwards until the last oh, that you get up. If you're at the stage where you can just stand smoothly, and notice I've got something alongside here. Be safe, always. Have the chair set up so that there's something behind you. If you know that you're really a bit unsteady and you're just trying to test yourself that bit more, have someone in the room alongside you, all right? And if you fail, you fail, it's okay and it doesn't matter. So alongside here, what you're going to do now is you're just going to stand. You're just going to stand with your feet just a natural distance apart, just a comfortable distance. And notice what that feels like. Notice what it's like to come into standing. If that feels okay, <clears throat> notice if you can bring your feet a little bit closer together. Okay, now if you think, now you're on a much smaller base. So as you stand, you can just swing them maybe a little bit from side to side. And you need to feel that you can hold yourself just over that point, just feeling that you can stand on two legs with your feet closer together. Remember, if you can't do this, that's fine. You can make a change, you can improve it, We're only doing some tests. If you can do this and you feel safe and you don't feel you need to hold on, and I want you to put one foot I'll do it this way around so you can see. Just so that the foot, the, um, the ball of the foot, if you like, is just in that little indentation in the arch of your foot and you're standing with one foot in front of the other. So now you've got your feet, they're parallel, they're pointing where you're going to go and you've got one foot just tucked in. Can you stand this way? How does it feel? Have you got more weight on one foot than the other foot? Are you leaning forwards or backwards? Notice the quality. And again, if you can't do it, this is a progression from the last one. This is more tricky. If you can't do it, leave it out. Don't worry. Just think to yourself, hmm, be nice to get to that stage. If you can do it with one foot in the front of the other, swap over. So put the other foot in front. Notice what it's like with this foot in front here. Does it feel easier? Does it feel more difficult? Which way round did you choose to go first? And notice what it's like. What does it feel like? Does it feel as if you want to put more weight on the front leg or the back leg? Just notice it. If you can do this, wow, well we can take this on a little bit further. Put one foot in front of the other and see if you can just slide that heel in front of the toe on the leg behind. Now you've got your feet in a straight line, like that, okay? Notice what it feels like, just the balance like this. You may wobble a little bit, that's fine, that's okay. Notice which leg you've got most weight on. And then swap over. Put the other foot in front. Now I like standing on my left leg, because this leg, I've had some injuries in the past, but so standing with one foot in front of the other. Okay, cool. So those are the stages to go through. First of all, standing up, noticing what it feels like. Notice if you can do it, you mustn't start doing this test if you can't do the one before. Bring your feet in closer. Foot in the crook, foot in front. Notice what those feel like, and if you can do those, you can progress on to the next stage test. If you can't, stick to where you're at, work with where you're at, 
And then over time, you'll find that you can progress on from there a little bit. Take care.